Good day, guys. Les here from BG Trading, and I hope you are well. Today is August 5th, 2022. I'll be analyzing two stocks, two stocks in the travel sector that is currently trading at an entry position, an entry level, according to our strategy, right? And we believe could have a 20 to 30 percent upside. So stick with us in this video and let's have a look. Just want to remind you, this is not a financial device. It's just us from BG Trading sharing with you how we apply our strategies to know when to buy and when to sell stocks, how we set up targets, stop losses, avoid FOMO, and much more, all in this channel. So if you like, please subscribe this channel and share this video with someone that we believe could be helping. So also would like to invite you to become part of our Facebook community, Buy, Grow, Sell Strategy for Share Traders. We post a lot of great quality content, including some stock analysis, some interesting entries. As you can see here, I'm going to show you about a month ago, we post in this group that Tesla, Tesla was, uh, was prompt for a rally was trading at 10 technically discounted price and was trading uh, at great entry point for 20 to 30%. If you have bought the stock that time based on our assumption, you would have been uh, 30% profit at the moment on your position. So that's what we do in this group. And obviously we uh, share some of our entries with our VIP members, a point, points bet holding uh, was our latest entry three days. We entered on Monday again. So we re-entered and we about 25% now as we speak. We also entered Tyro. We over 30% in Tyro at the moment. So uh, this is all part of our VIP membership program. So now let's jump straight away into uh, the first stock, Fly Center. Fly Center is... Uh, one stock that we have been trading over and over again. And as you can see here in the chart formation, let, let me show you. There was a correction here, as you can see in the chart. And this correction has taken about uh, a 29% correction. But if you see here, we have similar corrections in the past. And then most of this correction was based uh, on obviously uh, uh, inflation and recession fears, because the first thing uh, consumers uh, or p people like ourselves tend to do is to uh, start uh, uh, decreasing the amount of holidays and disposable uh, disposable income shrinks with lower liquidity in the market, and we start stop traveling. However. The last report, uh, the last half year report for Fly Center has showed a, a really good improvement. In fact, the company has uh, outbid its forecast. And uh, interesting enough, the stock went up and then start going down again. But now, uh, and and then uh, I assume that because Fly Center is a very largely short stock. Uh, in ASX, in fact, is uh, one of the most uh, most short stock on ASX. Unfortunately, or fortunately, that makes those uh, share price swings. I believe uh, this bullish intersection. We just about confirmed a bullish intersection here, and I believe there is a, uh, as you can see here, a twenty to thirty percent upside. I would say here uh, comfortably. At 25% upside. So time to take a look on this stock. And obviously, guys, uh, this is not a financial device. So make sure that particular stock suits your personal uh, financial circumstances. And if you buy any stock, as I always said, you have to got to make sure there is a stop loss in place. If there is stop loss in place, uh, you uh, that will protect from a further fall if eventually things start melting again. We never know. We never know what the CPI numbers next week will be about. And that's exactly what's going to drive those stocks up or down further. 
is the CP, uh, will be the CPI numbers. If the CPI numbers are good or in line to expect the inflation sort of uh, is confirmed to be peaking, I'm very confident we could see those stocks uh, like Fly Center going 20 to 30% up and therefore fulfilling our BGS 20 strategy, which uh, aims for 20 to 30% within a range of a um, uh, one to three months. Now, the other stock is one of our favorite trading stocks as well on the travel sector, Fly, uh, Webjet. Webjet is another stock. They haven't reported yet, uh, but I believe that as well as a Fly Center will be a considerable upgrade uh, on earnings here on sort of um, uh, cost cost uh, uh, management uh, for Webjet as well as Fly Center. And then we have here a massive reversal indicator, uh, which is called Hanging Man. If you are familiar with technical analysis, we talk about reversal indicator here. And we could see also at Webjet trading at low fives, like at the moment trading five, uh, uh, five sixteen, we can see a twenty percent upside on this stock. So, uh, from which one we prefer from both from Webjet or Flysender? As you could see on the chart, Flysender tends to swing in a larger range, which means. Uh, you, uh, you, you trade in fly center, you're likely to uh, to complete a greater trades than Webjet, but Webjet still offering a, a good twenty percent, a um, good twenty percent um, upside on on that. So this is uh, are the two stocks that I believe could go uh, really well if um, we have a confirmation that inflation is. Uh, contained and is sort of level uh, top up at the moment. So if that's true, happy days. We happy and will be uh, most likely posting some great locking profits on Fly Sender because this is a stock that we currently are holding as well as Webjet. And the best time to buy stocks here is when they are down. Stocks that have upgrade potential and they are currently trading under the SMA. Again, our strategy says you buy a technically discounted price under the SMA 40, which is simple moving average of 40 days. And uh, uh, furthermore, we also using the SMA 250 to take a look and what's happening is the stock is trading about 10% uh, below the SMA 250, which also confirms that it is trading at technically discounted price. If you look at this, uh, that is the pink line here, and it's currently trading under that pink line, which is a uh, technically discounted price, especially stock that is um, has some potential upgrade on uh, on its earning and uh, improvement still from a uh, COVID pandemic. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions and if you agree or disagree, please put it in the comments below. We are, we're more than happy to, uh, uh, to we read all the comments. Have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video. The whole idea when we designed BG Trading BGS 20 strategy was to use only a set number of indicators to make it simple and clear to understand and to be able to apply our KPIs very easily and very effectively. So you don't have to be any Wall Street smart person to be able to apply those strategies. We really hope this course will help you to make better decisions and make successful trades. See you in the course.